we conjure up today? Hey everybody, it's Jinx here, and I'm doing another magic-related box opening. Now this time, we're going to be opening the Boros Kit, Guild Kit. Yeah, Guild Kit. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see what it comes with. So let's go right into the box. Ugh. And if you notice, the card on top is Aurelia, the war leader. Uh, foil, of course. And it looks like... Oh, there's... there we go. Alright. So it looks like, right off the top, before I even get into the cards, comes with a 20-sider dice with the Boros logo. Uh, 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 let's see if I can get it. I know how to work a camera, I swear. There we go. Boros logo. Woo, all right. Finally got it. All right. It also comes with a Boros pen. There we go. Boros pen. There you can pen the stuff. I think that's kind of cool. I like the pen. Uh, I do like 20 side I love 20 siders. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm going to, you know, first off the top is Aurelia. And her ability is Flying, Vigilance, and Haste. Whenever Aurelia, the war leader, attacks for the first time each turn, untap all cards you control after this phase. There's an additional combat phase. Now, my only problem with this card, see if you can see it. Right there. Let's let's tilt it. Yeah, there is a Pringle effect going on with the card. M makes me a little sad, but you know what are you gonna do? I mean, it's meant you guys saw me open the box. It just bums me out a little bit, but it's foil, and you know how I am with foils. I love foils. All right. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah, before we go to the cards, let's look at what's over here. Let's see, there's a list of everything in here. Is this a... Hmm. Let me know in the comments below if these, if these kits are... Uh, decks themselves. Um, they probably are, and I just haven't read it anywhere. Oh, 60 card Boros deck. Yeah, it helps if I read the box, doesn't it? Alright, so there's a little poster here that says what comes in it. And then there's a Boros sticker. And a box. Oh, look, a deck box. That's kind of cool. Gives you something to put your cards in when you're done. All right? Of course, Boros logo, red and white. That's awesome. All right. So let's see what comes in the stick kit. All right, we got Legion Loyalist, which is Haste. He's a 1-1 one, one Goblin from 1 Red. Oh, i got to turn it the right way. He's a 1-1 one, one for 1. With Haste, Battalion, whenever Legion Loyalist and at least two other creatures attack. Creatures you control gain first strike and trample until end of turn. And can't be blocked by creature tokens this turn. Which can be cool if you're facing like a token deck. Let's see, next one is Swift Blade Vindicator, which is a one white, one red, one one, double strike, vigilance, and trample. Then there's Legion War, War Boss, one red, two colorless, for a two two, 
Mentor, whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on a target attacking creature with lower power. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. Sorry about that. Uh, creature token. That token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. Whoa, I'm just knocking things over. Ooh. <laughs> Next one, Boros Reckner. It's three red, three white, or a combination of red and white for a 3-3, three, three. and whenever Boros Reckoner is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target. And you can also tap one white or red to give Boros Reckoner first strike until end of turn, which can be handy if you're trying to save him. But there's also an infinite life combo. Um, if you have a Timmy or a Pyromancer uh, that you can tap to do one damage to a creature, you, you essentially make Boros Reckoner indestructible, and then you make any damage he gives, or any damage he deals, you gain that much life. This is where the infinite combo comes in. So Boros Reckoner is indestructible, and any damage he deals gives you that much life, right? Well, then you, you tap Pyromancer to do one damage to Boros Reckoner. Well, then Boris Reckner just keeps doing the one damage to himself. And he's indestructible until the end of turn. So you can just keep pinging him for one. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you gain that much life. So literally, you can gain like a billion life. It's crazy. It's a good card. Uh, next next one is Fire Main Avenger. For one white, one red, two colorless. Flying Battalion. Uh, whenever... Avenger, and at least two other creatures attack. Avenger deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. That's kind of cool. And it has flying. Um, so the next one is Spark Troop. Uh, yeah, Spark Troop. Spark Trooper, sorry. And then you got Argus. Ooh. To find the sweet spot. Argus, Auric Veteran, Light of Legion, Fireman Angel, Raza Boros Archangel. Now, this one has Flying, Vigilance, Haste, and if you tap it, the next three damage that would be dealt to target creature you control this turn is dealt to another target creature instead. Interesting. Uh, the next one is Master Warcraft. Which is an instant. Um, Bright Flame. And then, of course, you got your goblin tokens. Goblin, go oh, goblin, soldier, 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 soldier. I guess they had the rares separated from the rest of the cards. So, next, we have Frenzy Goblin. We have Boros Elite. Bomber Core. Daring Sky... Skyjik. Sunhome Stalwart, Boros Swiftblade, Boros Swiftblade, Sunhome Guildmage, Sunhome Guildmage, Warwick Bodyguard, Blade Instructor, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Hammer Dropper, Boros Garrison, which is a land, Boros Garrison, Boris Garrison, Boris Garrison. Really? Player set of Boris Garrison? Nice. Boros Guildgate, Boros Guildgate, Boros Guildgate, Boros Guildgate, Sun Home Fortress of Legion. Look at that basic land. Look at that. Right there. I gotta say, they kind of fancied it up. That's kind of cool. Then you got the basic lands. 
I like what they did with the little text box area. They fancied it up a little bit. And then you got your lands. Okay, and then more cards. That's weird. Uh, curd for battle. Borrow signet. Borrow signet. Borrow's charm. Lightning helix. Martial glory. Boros Key Rune and Sworn Companions. That's actually not a bad deck, all things considered. That's not a bad deck at all. And I'm gonna have fun playing this. I mean, it's a pre-constructed. I always, I'm gonna be real honest. I usually have fun with pre-constructed. Um. Because pre-constructed lately has not been too horrible. And it's like, well, you know, it's a good it's a good way to introduce people to magic in general. And it helps ease them into how to play the game and get some thinking differently. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Hope to see you guys next week. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe and click the like button and the notification bell so you can stay in the loop of all my future videos.